here are my monthly favourites for the past months. Okay, for some reason, about a month ago, I had started breaking out really badly. I'm not sure why. Uh, to be really honest, as a teenager, I suffered from a really bad bout of acne and um, I've always had breakouts here and there and it's something that I've just always had to deal with but it's mostly gotten controlled um, I mean as an adult but I don't know why like last month it just suddenly flared up and it was really it was quite of it was quite upsetting really um, and I tried a lot of things I, I went to see my doctor I tried different skincare things and mm, strangely I mean it all helped but the one thing that I felt that really helped was this. So interestingly, um, Vichy sent me this the Normal Derm solution about a year ago and when I tried it then, I felt it was too harsh for my skin because my skin started flaking and it got red and irritated and it almost like triggered a breakout so I just completely stopped. They sent over the cleanser and this uh, Normal Derm Pyto solution. So I really completely stopped but I think with this part of breakout, I just went back to everything that I was just kind of desperate so I thought I'll try it again. So I started using the facial cleanser, the gel, and uh, I felt like it really helped to clear my skin. And then so I had the courage to try using this again and honestly I've been using very few products. Just these two and a hyaluronic acid and um, sometimes a glycolic peel and it's gotten really really a lot better. So this has been a lifesaver for me. I'm not quite sure why when I tried it a year ago it made it worse though. but. It worked this time, so I just thought I'd share it and it's one of my favourites for this month because it solved the solution, my skin is mostly clear again now and um, you know I've, I've had people ask me about breakouts and stuff and I feel inspired to make a breakout video or how to deal with breakouts sort of video so let me know in the comments below if you want me to do something like that. Also this I think will definitely make one of my empties video because I'm like going through it really fast. I've already finished the cleanser so if you haven't watched any of my empties videos I will link that down below as well. Okay, so along the vein of trying new skincare, I mean, I, I really honestly try not to really go crazy trying new skincare because I have sensitive skin that is prone to breaking out. But there's certain brands that I feel are safer or certain sensitive skin friendly brands like Vichy or Clarence or uh, Curel and Helio Care is one of them as well because I feel like it doesn't affect my sensitive skin. So I've always used Helio Care um, sunscreen, the gel one that's an SPF 50 and an SPF 91 and I use that for spots. I, I feel that it's really good, it really does protect my skin from the sun because I don't get burnt when I'm using that even when I'm out in this kind of horrible sun that I shouldn't be out in. Um, but I don't really like the finish because it's a gel but it kind of gives your skin that sort of gloss which I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, but this one is the, it's a gel oil free, I mean the other one that I use is oil free as well. But this one is colour, so I actually use it in place of a base on some days when I'm not working. I just use this and it looks like I have a tinted moisturiser on. It's not the easiest to blend, I'll say that, because uh, it's a bit thick. But once you get it right, it, it kind of stays there and it works in place of base and I feel like it's better for my skin. Plus, it kind of stays on when I'm wakeboarding for like hours, so I find this really good. Also, when I look like death at like 6am in the morning when I'm getting up to go wakeboard, I feel like uh, using this as sunscreen gives me a bit more uh, of an even tone complexion somehow. So yeah, this is one of my current favourites and I'm using the shade Pearl. It's SPF 50 and says very high protection. Okay, so a lot of like skincare, makeup-ish base things this month, which is rare because I don't really like trying new products on my skin because simply because it's sensitive and prone to breaking out and I really try not to go there and tempt that. Uh, but this was sent over by Karen. It's the uh, Jojo Armani My Armani To Go Essence and Foundation Cushion SPF 23. So this was very interesting for me because I am not a fan of cushion compacts. I never have been. Um, I've tried a few and I, I don't know, I find like if I'm gonna go light, then I just put a sunscreen and loose powder. If I wanna go full on with foundation, then I go with like a liquid foundation and I like the Dior one um, for work and I like the Clarence ones for just for normal days. Uh, but this one is a, I feel like a real game changer because 
everyone's like cushions are so convenient and all that but I find that cushions kind of drag my skin I don't like the application firstly I don't like using a sponge because I'm so lazy because you have to wash the sponge periodically secondly I find that I don't know I just find that the application is always a bit um, like heavy and it kind of sticks to because I have sensitive skin so sometimes uh, some parts are like have flaky skin and it kind of sticks to the flakes but this one I really like oh my gosh I just realized I've been using the sponge the wrong way so it should be used this way because this is like the pointed end but I've been using it on this side all right um yes and also I like to smell my makeup so no weird smell but this is this is you know I've been using it and I really like it because it's really fast free and it's actually really really light so I use the Normadum um, and then I use the sunscreen over, uh, a clear one on days when I'm going to use this and then that's it. I just pat it on and it gives really light um, and natural coverage. I think you can layer it on but I prefer it to look light. So I just use that and then if I have one or two spots or dark spots, I just use a concealer for that and yeah, done. And I also like that you don't have to set this with powder because I feel like with a lot of cushion foundations that I've used, it's so dewy and I'm not a huge fan of that dewy look because I have naturally dewy skin, otherwise known as a little bit oily. Um, so it's, it's overly dewy and I feel like I have to put loose powder and then I'm like, might as well use a liquid foundation since it's two steps anyway. But for this one, I don't. I put this on and then I use a cream blusher, do my eyebrows and I'm done. Yeah, so I'm a convert. Thank you, Karen, for sending this over and uh, yeah, I'm quite sure I'm gonna use this to the end. <laughs> Uh, another favorite for the month is Can you see how cute is my handphone case and cover? <laughs> yep. Uh, so a friend helped me order these online and I absolutely love them. I feel like for me, pop sockets are a game changer. I think when I first, like a couple of years back before I discovered pop sockets, this is before even the ring version, I used to drop my phone all the time. Like I have so many smashed screens because the, the bones are a little big for some reason and then they're always slipping out of my hand. Maybe I'm just clumsy. <laughs> but with, when I started putting pop sockets, I started with the ring ones. I don't know if you know, the old generation ones used to be just a ring and you kind of slide your finger through. And when I started using that, I stopped dropping my phone like, I think by 50%. And when these kinds came up, I before this I was using the, the pop 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 ones. This one is a bit more like, you know, sometimes you can, I don't know, it's a different style basically. but. When I started using this, I mean both the pop socket one, I, I hardly drop my phone. Unless I leave it on the edge of a table or I knock it off the edge of a dresser. But otherwise, I don't ever drop my phone because I'm holding it. Because I, I don't know if you have that problem, but I usually do that. So I really like this and I like the, the cover as well. Look, it has a cute heart. It kind of matches my tattoo heart. Um, yeah, and it feels really nice because it's kind of matte, so it, it has a bit more grip. Again, I say, because for some reason, I'm really butterfingers when it comes to holding my phone and not letting it slip out of my hands. Okay, another like cheap and chic favorite that I found this month. This is from the Beach Road Army Market. I was looking for a bucket hat. I actually, I have a whole bunch of decals that I want to put on it, which I haven't uh, gotten around to doing yet. But it's just, it's just a regular bucket hat. I think it's really cute though, like it fits nicely and the best part is it's reversible. So this is like a, I don't know, some kind of grey black pattern and then if you flip it over to the other side, it's just completely black. So I was thinking of putting some decals on the black side, uh, but before I could do that, I've been just using this a lot. When I go out, like especially when I'm going to the beach, it's a nice way to keep my face out of the sun as much as possible and it looks cute as well, it kind of goes with everything. And best of all, it costs like $10. I think it costs 15 or something, but the auntie gave it to me for 10 So thanks. Beach Road Army Market. Okay, so the other favorites are bags and shoes, and these are from Charles and Keith, and I was actually really late to opening this. I'm actually quite bad at opening my packages because, not just packages, but presents in general, because I feel like I want to save it. Part of the fun is looking at the package there and thinking, oh, I have something to open, like a, pre a, a present. So when PR people and like clients are sweet enough to send me gifts. I usually take very long to get to them. So I don't know if that upsets you if you're a client or a PR person, but the reason is because I'm just excited and I just, you know. So this one I kept, it came in this huge box and I kept it unopened for the longest time. And when I finally opened it, I was like, whoa, so pretty. So these are 
um, sneakers as you can see and they're transparent so I love them because I can wear all kinds of pattern socks inside and you know uh, in case you didn't know the sock trend is, is quite not so uncool anymore I've always liked socks because I've always been conscious about uh, the lower half of my legs uh, so when I was in secondary school I would only wear shoes with socks if you know me from that time it's embarrassing but it's true you will remember I used to only wear socks and really thick socks at that because I wanted to hide my skinny ankles and uh, I mean of course since growing up I've gotten over it but mostly gotten over it but I still like socks and I feel like it's a flattering look for me at least and so I'm kind of glad that socks are not so uncool anymore I've started wearing uh, mid calf socks again not full calf socks although I do like that I use that only for netball but I've started wearing mid calf socks and I wear them with these and it's cool because when the socks are patterned you can see everything including this part although some friends think it's gross because sometimes I wear like semi-translucent socks with these and they're like ew I can see your toes what's wrong with the toes? yeah so I like these and they are white which if you know I love a good white shoe and white to me goes with everything and goes with every sock so these are un an unexpected favourite oh uh, the other reason why I like them is because they're chunky and they give me added height because I've almost completely stopped wearing heels because of my plantar fasciitis <gasps> heel condition I've been told by a podiatrist and my osteopath to stop wearing heels uh, to only wear sneakers so I only wear sneakers these days but when I want a bit more height these are perfect so I yeah plus I, I just generally prefer chunky sneakers I just like the look better, I feel it goes better with my clothes and it makes me feel less insecure about my skin. Like in case you haven't seen, I used to use this heart shape black bag. In all my photos, I would be using that because I'm not really a huge bag person. I use one bag, uh, like a small bag for every day because this is the perfect size that I find for me. And then I have a backpack where I put like my laptop and my files if I'm going to school or if I'm going to work from a cafe. Um, and that's it. I don't really use any other bags. Sometimes when I'm feeling cute or like if I can be bothered at night, I will change to another clutch. But for the most part, if you see me every day, I'm using the same little bag and that black heart shaped bag has been replaced by this for now because uh, I went out to shoot with this and then for some reason I just dumped some stuff in it and I was like, well, this bag is actually really convenient. It's so small, but it holds a lot of stuff, including... This is my bag from yesterday, don't judge. Um, no polish remover. Yeah, it holds a lot of stuff. Um, so I, I like that you can put a lot of things in it and it's still small and compact. Actually, um, let me know down below if you want a, an updated what's in my bag. I think the last time I did that was probably three years ago. Yeah, so I mean, I can do another one. Uh, let me know. I've not done one what's in my everyday bag. It's not a lot. I think that's why I don't, because I don't carry around a lot of stuff. But yeah, I can do that. And Charles and Keith has this cute translucent bag. This is not an ad. I just really like it and it's one of my favourites. It can be worn like this or you can hold it and, and there's a buckle here so you can actually take it out and shorten the strap so that if you just like your bag to sit here, uh, that can work as well. But I generally like to either hold my bag or sling my bag. So this is great because I can do both. Right, so those are my favourites for the month of February and March. I know I kind of miss February which is really bad. Uh, but with all the stay home nowadays, there will be a lot more videos coming up. So drop me a comment uh, down below to let me know what you want me to make. I'm thinking of, you know, chatting about what to do at home because for an extreme extrovert who's extremely sporty and active, it's very hard for me to stay still. So let me know if you want a video like that. Also drop me a line and let me know some of your favourite finds for the month. And let me know what you have been doing to keep busy at home as we all stay home during this very difficult period. Um, Thoughts and prayers to all the heroes who have been helping and doing their part in this time. We're in this together, so let's you know soldier on and hopefully the virus will be will subside soon. Let's look. See you very soon in April. Bye! I mean for April favorites in May. Right, you know what I mean.